And what I want to do here is to define a form. So I'm going to define a form. And inside that form, I'm going to have an input element and I'm going to give it a type of file because that's what we're doing. And then we're going to call our function. So we're going to watch for whenever this input is changed. So we're going to call the change event and we're going to set this equal to the function that we defined here. So we're going to go ahead and copy this name um, and then go back and pass it here. And this is going to take the event that occurs whenever there is a change in this input. So we can pass the dollar sign event. And I don't know how familiar you guys are with Angular, um, but that's how you watch for a change in an input of type file. There's going to be an event that occurs whenever the there's a change in that input. So we're going to get to the target and pass in, in all of the files. OK, so and I can show you what that looks like. The code is going to break, but I can show you what this event looks like. So let's uh, remove this for now. Now, and I'm just going to console log this. So I'm going to get rid of all of this. I'm just going to comment it out for now. Oops. Just so you can see what this event uh, looks like. It's not of type file. So I'm going to put any for now, but we're going to change this back. So now if we go back to the UI, refresh, we got an error. So oh, we have to close this. This is a self closing tag. So we have to do this. OK, so let's go back. All right. So if I you can see we have this kind of scroll in a little bit on this. So now we have this input and when we click it to select the file, that's what the change event is. So that means that the input has changed and that's going to fire the function that we define on it. And the function can take the event that occurs if you just pass in the dollar sign event. OK, and I just want to show you where the files are coming from. And I'm going to go ahead and select some files and let's go to the this course. So this is all the videos that I prepared for this course so far. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of them because I want a lot of data or a, a large amount of file. And well, I can't select all of them. So let's go ahead and change this. Let's add the multiple flag here so that we can select multiple files whenever the window opens this flag will allow us to select multiple files. So let's go back and let's go here and it's just going to select all those videos for this course and select them all open and you can see the event. OK, so this logging is coming from line 82. So if we go back, you can see on line 82, this is where the logging is coming from. That's the event that occurs. OK, so if we expand this and we go into the target, that's where the input is. And we go into files right here. You can see this is all the files that I just selected. OK, so those are all the files that we need to send to the back end. OK, and we can expand to see more information, the name of the file, you know, the size of the file, the type, etc. So we need to take all those files and send them back to the back end inside of a form data. So let's go back and put all this code back. I'm going to change this. OK, so put this back. OK, so we're going to get files here and also put this back. OK, so oops. So target files and self closing tag will take multiple just like that. OK, so what's going to happen is whenever we change this input, which means whenever we click it and select the file, this change is going to fire and it's going to call this function and I just showed you instead of the event target and then we have a, an array of files. So we pass in those files to this upload file function, which is going to be fired here. OK, so that's going to call the back end and it's going to start uploading and we'll be able to watch all the event type and then we're going to log each one of them. So let's go back and we don't have to call this method up here because we have a a call to action on this form so we can just change the file type or select the file and then it will just fire this function. So just so we can see everything, I'm just going to comment out those two so that we only see the logs from the upload files here. So let's go back to the browser and everything is clean and I'm going to select a bunch of files. Let me select just a few of them. And you can see everything is happening here. OK, so you see the event type is now one. Uh, let's see if we can log the event type again. So here we have log for the event type, which is all ones. OK, so there's different ones that we can use. So if we go back here, you can see we have 
uh, response header, which is a different one. We have sent, which is a different one. We're going to watch for all of those. Okay. But for now, we're only interested in the progress and whenever we get the response right here. Okay. So that's why we only have all of the HDV uh, progress events. So you can see how it's showing us what's being loaded and what's uh, what the total is. And then ultimately, when everything is loaded, the server process all the files. And then here you can see we get the HTTP response back. And then the last logging for the third callback function that we have here, which is that last one here. So now I should see all those files inside of this folder. Okay, so I'm going to delete those files because I don't need duplicates of them. But I just want to show you. Now, what if you want to show progress, right? You want to show something on the UI, how those files are being uploaded. So you can see that's going to be very easy to do because we have all of this we can use so that we can show a progress going on. 